Juicy. Which cannot? Hello everyone! Welcome back to another very important piece of history. YouTube history. <laughs> Today we're gonna try some more instant ramen. But, so after my last instant ramen trying video, I googled some stuff. <laughs> I was on the webpage livejapan.com, aka the perfect guide for Japan. <laughs> and I read this article what Japanese really buy at the supermarket, check out Japan's top 10 instant noodles. Because I feel like there's always the same kind of instant ramen packages if you go to a Asian supermarket in Germany. And I kind of want to expand my ramen life <laughs> i want to try stuff i've never tried before i mean there were a lot of things i've never tried before in my last video but like stuff that nobody's ever tried in germany <laughs> dramatic i'm really craving pizza right now are we gonna have pizza um we're gonna have ramen sorry sorry come back i, I can make you pizza please don't leave me <laughs> so today we're gonna look at this top 10 no guarantee it's true i would love to know if it's true if there are any japanese broccolis in my comment section please let me know if these are the instant ramen you actually buy at the supermarket but this whole list of instant ramen really made me curious because i haven't seen any of these actually you haven't seen any of these this is gonna be a whole new one so the problem is I couldn't find all of the ramen in this list because um, it was kind of... Let's start! I don't know if the ranking means anything in this list, but we're gonna start with number nine because I don't have number 10, but we're gonna start with number nine. Which are these. Why are you leaving? When it comes to instant yakisoba, UFO is often the first brand that Japanese people gravitate towards. The problem is, as it's all Japanese on here, I really don't know how to make these. <laughs> Look, we got a package! <laughs> ah, baby! <laughs> Take the sprinkle bag on the lid and from the lower part of the company to the lid. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I'm having troubles, to be honest. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you glue a lid back on, which you just should have opened till this line. <laughs> and this is our built-in water drainer. I made the right amount of hot water. Can you believe that? I am a genius when it comes to boiling water. <laughs> now we're also heating up the sauce over the water drainer. Let's wait three minutes. And while we wait, we should look at chili sitting in this cardboard box because it's very, very adorable. And look at his little paws there. <laughs> okay, I have waited some time. The sauce is warm. Yes, oh my God, I'm so happy it worked. So the sauce is brown, it's not red, which is a good sign. This means it's not gonna be too spicy. I know it, I just know it. Look, it's cabbage. And now let's garnish it with this. Oh, look, it's pink. Why is it pink? <laughs> That's so pretty. All right, let's see what it tastes like. <laughs> it tastes like soba noodles, just a little bit more sour, but it's really good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A little bit for the king. <laughs> hmm. hmm? You don't like it? I mean, I think I like the taste of it. Maybe it's the packaging. It just tastes really plastic in the end. Just yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, it's a packet. <laughs> I gotta say, I mean, I like this, but it's not like I would buy it again because I know I could have soba noodles and it would basically be the same. <laughs> it looks so horrible already. <laughs> so I would rate the UFO noodles a 7 out of 10 broccoli because there's still room to the top, but I still like them. My taste buds were not flying, you know. Six out of ten because I know so but are better. 
What are better? <laughs> Next, we're gonna try cup noodle curry flavor and i think these are actually like one of the most popular instant noodle brands in japan 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 julian bm and this is curry flavor i mean i don't really know what to expect <gasps> Ooh, is that a potato i think there's a potato in there but i'm sorry vincent look i think that's like little dried potato <laughs> i did not expect that i mean there's noodles underneath but like Potatoes? Time to boil water again. I'm so good at boiling water. Did I mention that? Queen of boiling water! Queen of boiling water! Queen of boiling water! Please, queen of boiling water! My dress is really going places. Why do I always take this off? <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. looks promising. Okay. Guys, I cannot believe there are actual potatoes in there. So this is number six on our list. The noodles are coated with curry seasoning, but don't let the spices intimidate you. While bold and flavorful, these instant curry noodles are not spicy at all, making them a favorite in Japan. This is very delicious. Mm, hapa hapa yummy yummy. <laughs> kind of want to try it potato. Why is the potato so good? <laughs> How can this taste like... What did they do? What kind of magic is this? Mmm, let's try some pork. Why is the pork so good? Why did it actually taste like good seasoned pork? Pork! I am so confused by this. Why is it so flavorful? Mm! How do you like it? It's okay. Let me try more. <laughs> I mean, the um, noodles and the sauce itself is good, but I'm just blown away by the ingredients on top. How they can still taste so good, even though they were like dry sitting on there for ages. Lay me down on Vincent's tongue, take me to the river. And I gotta say, it and it definitely tastes very similar to the golden curry. Maybe it's even the same sauce. Oh, you're gonna eat it up. I want to. I give the curry a 8 out of 10 broccolis because I'm... Oh, no. <laughs> Shit. No, it's curry. I'm gonna give this curry... I'm gonna give these cup noodles... I'm gonna give this curry... I'm gonna give these curry cup noodles... I'm gonna give this curry cup noodle... I'm gonna... <laughs> If you don't like curry that much, then I'm, I mean, that's probably not for you. So would you give it, even though you're not like a super big fan of curry? A worst 6 out of 10, then I gave. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's get to the next cup noodle package, which I don't know what to think about because I'm not like a huge fan of seafood in general, and there's like a lot of seafood in there. <laughs> I mean, it just smells like fish. <laughs> this is what the seafood cup noodles look like. I'm kind of amazed by how the ingredients are just on there. I've never seen so many ingredients in a cup noodle. Well, instant noodles in general. Because you always have those normal sauce packages with either powder or sauce. Look at all the seafood in there. I think there's some calamari, some crab meat, some... I don't even know what this is. Oh, look, there's also some sliced octopus right there. This is very fishy. Let's try some piece of crab meat. <laughs> it tastes like fish but sweet. I don't think I've ever had like crab meat before. Let's try some octopus. That's chewy, mate. <laughs> Let's try some of that. Yellow stuff. Tastes like liquid fish. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> If you want to get it, you really have to like fishy taste, which makes sense because <laughs> it's the seafood flavor. Oh, look at these noodles a fucking lot. I think it's your package. I'm eating my seafood and cup noodles. Okay, I think we ate enough instant noodles for today. I'm really full. We're gonna have a dessert today, which is always the part I look forward to the most. I don't know if these are mochis. I think these are actually not mochis, even though they look like it. I think it's more like a marshmallow type of situation. Oh, they're so squishy. Oh, they're just marshmallows. It's actually a marshmallows with, I think, sesame filling. I'm not a fan of the filling. Mm -hmm. I don't really like marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't like it that much, but the texture is so cool and I sometimes just like things because of their texture. As I said, we're gonna try everything else tomorrow because 
I'm full and I don't want to throw stuff away. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Pew, pew, pew. I'll miss you. Bye bye. I'll miss them more. I'll miss them the most. I'll miss them the most. I miss them always. I miss them more more than three times every time. Pizza! Hello everyone. Oh wait, it's the next day. Vincent. Let's eat some more ramen. So next we're gonna try out the Toyo Suyan Maruchan Akai Kitsun Udon. It has a soup stock made from dried and simmered fish. Oh, there's a large piece of fried tofu on top. Vincent left the chat. <laughs> okay, let me just boil some water again. I boiled some water. Okay, a couple of minutes later, this is what it looks like. What is that? So, Vincent doesn't really like tofu. <laughs> I, I don't understand this. This is just like a very <laughs> floppy piece of tofu. I think this is like a little piece of scrambled egg. Do you think this is reddish? I think this is fish. I mean, I really don't mind fish. I actually really like it, but I don't know about this fish broth. But let's not judge. Let's taste. And the noodles are definitely thicker than the other ones. Hmm. I don't know about the broth, man. Maybe the tofu. Actually, this is quite yummy. Despite the fact that it's like soaked in fish broth, which I'm not like a huge fan of right now. I really like this one. You wanna try? I think I'd really rather jump out the window. Okay. <laughs> Let's try the little scrambled eggs. They are delicious. Mm. They are a little sweet. I love my scrambled eggs sweet and dipped in fish sauce. I really like the tofu. It's like really soaked in the broth. If this would be like a really, really delicious broth, then this would be really dope. The tofu looks really not appealing, but tastes really good. But also you said you were hungry. <laughs> okay, so I'll give the Uyu Suisa Marushan Akai Kitsuno Udon a 5 out of 10 broccolis. It's edible, but I'm just not like a huge fan of this fish broth. Let's try the next one with a piece of tofu on top. <laughs> This one is called Nisin Foods Nisin no Donbei Kitsune Udon. So it's basically the same as the other one, but this is actually number two on our list. So it should be almost the best one. <laughs> Unlike other versions of instant Kitsune Udon, this one has wide, thick and flat noodles, creating a firm texture that is fun to chew. Try one bowl of Donbei Kitsune Udon and you'll see why it's a favorite of Japanese young and old. The tofu looks a bit different than the other one. This one is way thicker. We got to work, 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 work this out. Make things right, the sun will shine. <laughs> and this is what it looks like. I mean, this is pretty accurate. Once again, we got that juicy piece of tofu. This one is definitely <laughs> thicker than the other one. Mm -hmm. This still tastes fishy, but not as fishy as the other one. I don't know about the noodles. They are really chewy and they said it's a great experience to eat this chewiness. I'm not such a fan of like chewing your noodles for five minutes, to be honest. Mmm. 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 But this is still better than the other one. Did I say that before? I think I said that. It's not atrocious for Godoshas, but we just don't need it in our lives. It's like that one toxic friend. I mean, I hope it's not toxic. <laughs> okay, I'll give this a 6 out of 10 broccoli because it was slightly better than the other one, but still not like my thing. But it's fun to have a piece of sponge on it. <laughs> Let's get to number freaking one, which is the original cup noodle. I can tell you. <laughs> Taking the top spot on their list, the original flavor of cup noodle. Just as with the other cup noodle flavors, this one is filled to the brim with noodles and toppings. There's dried pieces of Nissin Foods tasty mystery meat. Mystery. <laughs> Mystery me. Scrambled egg pieces, yeah. green onions and plenty of shrimp too. These are the top sellers at Kayo store, but you're bound to find them nearly anywhere. <laughs> All right, so here we have <laughs> the mini shrimps. The queen of hot boiling water has spoken. I didn't even say anything. 
She has not spoken, but she will make this instant ramen. Let's wait. Oh, I found the taco. Oh. <laughs> no. Is it bad? <laughs> yeah, this no is 100% the smell of taco when he went to the toilet. <laughs> Why does it smell like taco? So this is what it looks like now. The shrimps kind of came to life or death. The scrambled eggs look kind of cute and fluffy. I don't know about this mystery meat. I like that one. Let me try the broth. That is yummy. Don't worry, it doesn't taste like tacos diarrhea time. Let me try the mystery meat. Why is this good? Honestly, the mystery meat kind of tastes like just like meatballs. I'm gonna try a little shrimp. That's fishy. <laughs> I don't really taste a lot of shrimp in that. I mean, yeah, shrimp does taste fishy, but this really just tastes fishy. Let me try the scrambled oog. Mmm. Delicious. Yes, I like that one. Mmm. 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 The mystery meat really has some good flavor in it. I wonder what kind of mystery is in there, but like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> so I think that one really tastes good. I'll give this like a 8 out of 10 broccolis. I really, really liked it. The only thing I didn't really like was the sh mini shrimps in it. I could, I could have done it without it. So overall, I can definitely say the cup noodles were my favorites. I just think it's so cool. There are actual ingredients in there. I really, really like the curry one and the original one was also really good. But it was very, very interesting trying all of those different kinds of ramen, which I've never tried before. I mean, if you love fish, I have a lot of options for you. <laughs> Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram. Naomi John on TikTok. And the Naomi John on <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Ha <laughs> <laughs>